I'm making boiled cider. Um, currently, this is a gallon of unpasteurized apple cider that I got from an apple orchard. Um, you can't get unpasteurized at the grocery store. You'd have to get it from a farm market or a um, orchard. Uh, this is going to cook down to about two cups. This is one gallon. Um, so this basically all you do is um, put it on and bring it up to a boil. You'll stir it one, about once or twice an hour. Um, once it comes up to a boil, I'm going to turn my heat down until it's just a constant simmer. So it's not bubbling hard, but it's still, you know, cooking actively. And then after it reduces some more, the last hour or so, when it's probably reduced by half, um, you'll want to, like, stir it every 15 minutes and keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. But that's what my is on my... Um, agenda for today so I just thought I'd sh show you little pieces of the process it's probably not going to be like a, de a dedicated video just a quick little this is how you do boiled cider kind of thing but so far I have my one gallon of unpasteurized apple cider in a Dutch oven it's a cast iron enamel Dutch oven this is I think a four and a half quart one I'm not sure but as you can see it's like really close but it fit it, and that's all that matters, because it's going to reduce down um, to about a seventh of what it was. So, it is doing its thing. So we're 1.5 hours in, and you can see it reduced all the way from, like, that top line. So it's doing good. I just stirred it. I don't want to stir it too much, but it's coming along. This is where we're at, two and a half hours in. It is, I think, officially reduced to half what it was. If you look at the chopstick, that top line is where it started, and that bottom line is what I just measured. So we're about half, half reduced. So it shouldn't be but maybe another hour, um, which would mean it took about three and a half hours. But I will check in the next time... I either finished or it reduces some more. So it's been just about four hours and you can see how much farther it's reduced. I think it should be done. It might need that extra hour. Um, but as you can see on my chopstick, we started at the top and now we're at that one on the bottom. So reduced quite a bit. Um, I'm waiting for, I tried the the trick where you put it on a plate and see if you can run your th finger through it and it'll stay and it does not yet so I'm going to keep going until it's a little thicker. So it's been four and a half hours and I think it's almost done. I think it's just a little touch. I kind of used my my um, chopstick and I measured it and once it gets down to this part where it gets like thinner um, that'll be um, the one eighth mark based on where it started. Um, so that's kind of what I'm using to judge. Also, it's looking like the right color and it's getting thicker. Um, so it did, it took probably five hours by the time I get this done. So it's just so cool to see it go from all the way to the top down there, all the way down to this. It's just amazing. Um, this is a really fun process and I plan to use it to make an apple pie filling. Um, Carol from Thrifty Chic Housewife, she adds it as a secret ingredient into her pie filling, and I cannot wait to do that for that. So I'm kind of excited to use this in make, making apple pies, um, any kind of apple dish actually. So it's like a syrup, and you just add it um, to your filling, and it gives that a little punch of additional apple flavor. I didn't add anything to it. You can add like vanilla or cinnamon or whatever. Um, but for the first time making it, I thought I'd just keep it normal. So yeah, what a cool process. I'm going to then take it from here, strain it through a fine mesh strainer with a coffee filter since I don't have any um, cheesecloth left. And then I'm going to put it into a ball jar until I get these... Um, they're like decanter beer bottles with the little clasp at the top. 
and I bought some of those and that's how it's stored just because it'll make it easier to pour from um, but until I get that I'm going to keep it in the fridge in a ball jar um, there's I, I think some people say it lasts indefinitely um, some seem to see say a year is about what you can get out of it but considering you only get two cups if you cook a lot or bake a lot with apples this time of year I don't, I don't even I'm not worried about it because I think it'll be gone by then so anyhow it was a really fun process I'm glad I did it